Hey nerds, welcome to Jay Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 5, Episode 17 of Teen Wolf, entitled, A Credible Threat. They save Liam. Or they save Liam. <laughs> they save Lydia, L name, the L word. They save Lydia from Eichenhaus. Deaton injected her brain with some fucking mistletoe. Everything's golden, but... Little Theo got the damn Genzo mask. So that's really where we're at. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We, I still, I'm trying to piece together who oh, the man, beast is, and I don't think I have anything. Blood. If I didn't know certain things, I'd call it sleepwalking. This man hiring. I need to know where I'm going and what I'm doing. This man hiring Christopher Argent. If people... Bro, ain't, I don't know where you're living. I don't know where you're living that you can walk out to your place with your door wide open. Brother, you're going to come back and all your shit's going to be gone. On the move to Scotty. Make sure this is the school. There's a body on the floor. There's ribs poking out. I think another janitor done bit the dust. We need to look at his face. Tis but another. In the back of the school bus. Remember Scott's nightmare? It's a trap. That's my man. My man can speak? Please. It's a trap. You can't help him. Motherfuck, no, you can't. Unless you want to roll them fucking intestines back up. Bro, look at that big fucking hound dog. Big old. Uh, that's, that's a beast. Said he was that big. No, it's it's a big mother lover, and Liam did say he was a big bitch. Are we gonna get a CGI battle this game? Oh, they're gone. Oh, they're gone. They're chasing. It's getting smarter. Hell yeah, it is. It means it's probably taking over. Teen Wolf. I'm about to do some some deduction work here for a split second. So Malia, Deaton, and the Desert Wolf, as well as Liam, all saw the beast. They saw the beast. It's like the Batman thing. You know, you never seen Bruce Wayne and the Batman in the same building at the same time, right? Because it's the same person. Uh... Obviously, Scott, Liam, Styles, Chris, Parrish, all right there. Lydia, obviously, no. And they were getting a lot of teenagers from the high school. I said it could be a woman. So that one girl, not Stacy, I forgot her name. It's Stephanie or some shit. I, I don't know. I, I keep you guys probably keep your mind. I have no idea. The old girl with the test that would be a unique twist. I don't think Mason has seen the beast. At least not in person. I don't know if Corey has either or not, but I don't think any of them because they were all failures. They all died, so you can all take them off the table too. It's not going to be the Ducalian. He was the 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 demon wolf. His like his like final form. I don't know of any other students we know by name. Brett and his girlfriend had like a little run in, remember? With the chimeras before Kira came up and fought him off with a sword. If they tied back into that. Skira back at it. Hold up. I would be so much more into their relationship to hype up these scenes, but every time like I love Skira as a couple. 
I love seeing them interact, but every time they get into their smoochy kiss scenes, you know, you get like when when Damon and and Peeps were getting into it, and when they were in college, right? You can hype up those scenes. But I just know they're in high school. I can't hype it up. It feels weird. Feels weird, man. I can't believe we're supposed to play lacrosse game tomorrow. We're playing lacrosse. Right, this is fine. I got a question. I've asked this before with Allison. Is that bestiality? Are they are they furries? Because that was a fox and a wolf. It was a guy having sex with a fox. Or a lady having sex with a wolf. They need to be locked up, is all I'm saying. Arrested. Scott's still in bed. Scott is in bed, bro. She up here practicing her sword fighting skills like fucking guts. And Scott laying there scared shitless, bro. I know he got to pee. Maybe it's taking longer because of how bad you were hurt, but it's happening. <laughs> they probably would do some goofy shit with Mason, bro. Because he's so into all of it, right? People like me need people like you to save our asses. They probably would do some goofy shit like that, brother. No. No, I don't think it's just that. Last night, Arjun said that he's getting smarter. What if the Dread Doctors are trying to make the beast grow faster? With frequencies? No, by shifting it. The Ooh. frequency is just the trigger. The important part is when it shifts into the werewolf. Right. Like Peter. Right. Right, like Peter. When Peter was an alpha. He got stronger every full moon. Eventually, the burns healed and he was back to normal. So the Dread Doctors don't want to wait for the full moon. We want the beast to be as strong as possible, as fast as possible. Because of Parrish. If this is happening tonight, what are we going to do? Oh, we got your best. Going your best. You're going to do your best. Just came from the hospital. You got to find that shoe. Try to get the game canceled? No, no. We're going to play, but we're just going to hope really hard. A size 10, bro. You can't even really narrow down that size, too. Like, you, you can't narrow down that size, like, height-wise. To try to get somebody's, like, structure. So there's a lot of there's a lot of people short with big feet and tall with little feet. So they, yeah, you can't really narrow that down. Regular lacrosse game, it's possible, right? Well, it's absolutely possible. Can't leave it. It's possible, but so we're still getting the game canceled. We're getting the game yeah. canceled. Yeah, good luck with that. Go talk to Coach. Go go to him. It got quiet. Uh oh, Lydia. Uh oh, I thought they were gonna cut the Bob. What you, what you hear, what you sense, what you feel. Y'all are horrible friends, by the way. That's somebody, If somebody can walk in the group with you all and one of you disappear and they don't notice, come yeah. on. Are you actually in school? This got to be a vision. So it wasn't. He was actually there. You're the county sheriff. You can't cancel a high school lacrosse game. Bob, 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 Seven relapses. So once a month? Yeah, I see. Uh, every time they're just about to discharge me, uh, I relapse. No one's noticed that pattern. <laughs> I have phenomenal health insurance. <laughs> Motherfucker, so apparently. Get the hell out of here. I hate charity games. They're meaningless. Okay, well, I don't think the charities would agree. What's it for this year? Cancer. For or against? Against. Coach. Deeply against. Yeah, well, I'm deeply not interested. He said for or against. I feel like I'm missing something. I remember they had that game, right? And he was upset about Kira scoring. And then that was kind of the end of it. So he's faking his relapses. Yeah, they had the uh, they had the flu thing going on. Which he healed from. What the fuck? Eagle had a 
proper introduction. How are you going to do that? A mirror? With this. What in the motherfucking Captain America chamber is that, bro? Uh, no, nah, bro, he's relapsed. He's got the itch to coach. Now the perfect time for the game. Got nah. Coach? Stolinski. I've never forfeited a game. I knew that shit was coming. <laughs> Get on the field. This man is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Bam, 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 bam. Uh oh, is that Mama Kira? Yeah, one five. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Playboy? Yeah. Money. We've seen that exact shot before, bro. Let's reuse footage. Kira's playing a tad aggressive. Yeah, she wants to play. Look, she go out here, spin the stick around and shit. They're gonna have sound effects to it. Parish Jordan Parrish, they're taking a dirt nap, brother. Hey, bro, hold that. Yeah, yeah, no truck stick. Blue, 42. Na, 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 na. Not so tough now, are you? God damn, bro. She out here. You're done. Get off the field. Yeah. She, she Barry Bonds, Ken Griffey Jr. That swing. That's perfect. Thanks, dude. Yeah, good job. I don't even know where he's at. He's like, thanks for what? Here, you don't you don't speak Japanese. People are going to die. People die every day, sweetheart. Stop calling me that. You don't get to call me sweetheart. You don't get to call me anything. What if there's a compromise? What if you come with me? We can try and solve our little predicament, and maybe I'll start calling you daughter. I'm going to kill you. You're definitely my daughter. You guys are having a nice little moment here, but according to Lydia, Valak said there's gotta be another. I don't care. Start making out. Oh. Oh, you could do that? You can make other people invisible? You could have just started making out either way, and the guy would have been like, Oh my bad, guys, sorry. And now you do it after the fact. I mean, six one way half dozen the other, I guess. What's wrong? Nothing. I thought I saw smoke or something. I didn't. I'm okay. Come on. God, dog! Hey, it just turned you inside out. This is so random. Like, I, I get it for the purse, but it feels so random. Step on that. Yep. <laughs> Damn, dog. Headbutt. Over the table. I don't think it matters. I don't think it's Bob's office anymore. Yeah, y'all gonna tumble out. Fighting in the hallway. Hey, Scott, you can get these hands too, brother. E for everyone. Growl. Got a growl at her. Scott. Oh. Poor little innocent baby Kira's just in there scared shit. Let's like, where am I, bro? What's going on? She'll heal. What did I do? Nothing really. Yeah, I don't know if y'all remember or not, but Liam was actually kind of cracked at this when he first got on campus. First got campus, when he first got to school. Styles, you showed out for a little bit too. Scott's my co-captain. There you go, Liam, bro. Let's put the moves on him. The moves on him. Oh, yeah. Oh, blocked you. Yeah, get out of my way. Y'all forgot who I was? Yeah, y'all forgot who I was. Is it, coach? You didn't even want to be here until five minutes ago. Down goes Styles. Hey, bro, y'all fed into one of my one of my mini theories right there. I don't know her name, Stacy Keebler. I don't know. When did he die? When 
Oh, the ED. The e the IED. Yeah. Click. Boom. And he's gone, brother. Shout out Allison right there. Archive footage. Yep. Nimitan. Poor guy. No, he ain't. I know who I am. You're the hellhound. I know what I have to do. You got flex and bust out, brother. I have to leave. Oh. Oh, never mind. He scored four goals. I said five. That's overtime. O T O T, baby. Bro, I swear his fucking sideburns are different in every shot he's in. They just go up and down, in and out. I don't know how to explain it. Liam, Liam, wait. Liam, you're a brave one, brother. That motherfucker about to swat you out the sky, homie. Stay in the fucking classroom. I really wasn't expecting that right there at the end. Ah, brother. Brother, brother, brother. Um, Sydney. Her name is Sydney. I knew it started with an S. I had to look it up real quick. Uh, anyways. The kiss between Corey and Mason. His pull away. Did he sense something right there with him? Because the beast came from the buses. I told you it'd be some goofy, that'd, that'd be some shit they would do. Anyways, they're trying to find a size 10 shoe with some blood on it, with some blood parish in a, in a uh, hyperbaric chamber. Hellhound is at least talking about Parrish is dead. He died the moment I was born, drawn to the Nimitan. Really, while this ep this episode is a filler, you get a little more exposition on the Desert Wolf that we wasn't expecting. They're looking for the shoe. You see Kira kind of losing a little bit of herself to the Fox thing without even having the sword. And we get the lacrosse game and the Beast attacking at the end. The final episode, we get Bobby Finstock back in the thing. Mama McCall. Papa Slinsky having a conversation. That's really it. That's that's the episode. No complaints, because it's fun. But that's the episode. -da 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 -da. Where's the where's the thing at? Incredible threat. Scott and his pack use a charity lacrosse game and a deadly gambit to figure out the identity of the beast. So the Argents helping out Lydia and Parrish. Parrish said he gotta leave. Parrish, where you going? going Lydia seems to be just fine even though she got a head full of cement which is good Malia is still trying to protect Styles. I like that nod there that's that's all I got to say about it. I don't have nothing else to say about the episode bro I got literally nothing else I think I'm gonna go ahead and bounce uh all right what we got here episode 17 a credible threat episode 18 is entitled the maid of Javodon and on that note, I'm going to call it an early outro and go ahead and bounce. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.